Hi beauties! Okay, this is uh, long overdue. I think I've said that about every video we've filmed uh, the past like two months, but yeah, that's no different. Things haven't changed. Um, so Glam Light, they've been doing a ton of holiday releases. They've done several foodie boxes. One, they did like a dessert foodie box. I had almost all the products that they were offering in it, so I didn't bother getting that. And then they released this bad boy. This was the, I don't remember what it was called. The the winter foodie box or the, I don't know. It's very Christmas centric. That's why I wore my Santa sweater today. Anyway, they released that really cute. They introduced a new palette in it. I was like, I really like this. And then after this arrived, they actually did another foodie box, the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory one. I really considered doing it, but we are so close to the house and there's so many things I need to buy. I opted not to, mainly because I hadn't even touched this bad boy yet. So I said, no, be good. Let's see what this one looks like. So that's what we're gonna do today. You had to spend, I think, four $49 or like $55 or so. It was like really close to what, this was $45. I had to buy something else in order to get free shipping. So I opted to go ahead and also get the ice cream cone palette because I really, really wanted it when it first released. I considered getting the, like their bundle kit that they did uh, when it first dropped. And I was, once again, was just trying to be good and I didn't do it, but I've wanted this palette for a while. So I said, okay, this was also $45. And then I had 15% off. Total price for everything was like 76 bucks. Not too bad. And the ice, I haven't opened this box yet. This is, I've been waiting for the, the video, but this, the ice cream cone palette is absolutely gorgeous. Inside the ice cream truck, the palette is there. It's got like little sprinkles that they move. It's so cute. And then when you pull the palette itself out, it's this nice little book, sprinkles moving. And then you get these wonderful pastel shades, bunch of different glitter pigments, bunch of different matte pigments, so much you can do with this. And I've seen a lot of people doing different looks with it. I'm really, really jazzed to try it out. I don't know when it's gonna happen because I've got about 57 palettes that I need to film with and like no time to do it. It's definitely something that I wanna do a couple looks with because there's just so much there. So I'm excited about this one. Um, but honestly, this the decision to buy this palette was just because I wanted to get to free shipping. And um, you guys know that I'll pretty much spend anything to get free shipping. I spent an extra like 30 bucks, 30, well, with 15% off, 39 bucks or whatever, uh, in order to not have to pay 5 dollars in shipping and handling. But it do be like that. So, yeah, so ice cream cone palette, really cute, but let's focus on this bad boy because this is really what this video is about. So the foodie box, I believe it's like normally seven full-sized items. And then in those seven full-sized items, uh, like it's only like 45 bucks and you get a palette pretty much always. They're, they've been consistently doing highlighters and things like that. This one came with a really cute brush set that I'm really excited about. But inside the box, you get a nice little uh, gingerbread house and then uh, it's all nicely bubble wrapped. I will say Glam Light is great about shipping. I, I really think they do a great job about like doing it timely and then like making it nice and like, like uh, well packaged so it doesn't normally show up broken. And then right here we have a little postcard from Glam Light. It says, Glam Light, dear foodie, on behalf of the Glam Light family, we wanna miss you the, wish you the sweetest Merry Christmas ever. Get into the holiday spirit with all of your favorite festive treats with love, Giselle and team. And then it also gave us another little 15% off coupon. All right, brush set. So cute. The little candy canes, I am super jazzed about it. I have tried one brush from Glam Light because it came in the paint palette and I liked it a lot. So I'm excited to try. That was kind of like a really specifically designed brush that was very much like a tight bristled slanted brush. It looked like a paint brush. And so I'm excited to try like some blending brushes and stuff like that from them. Plus like really super cute. But yeah, I'm really jazzed to try those out. Next thing we have, these are some freaking lashes, man. These are the gingerbread lash. And you guys know, I don't really wear fake lashes that often, but every time I do, I love the way they look. So I always want to, it's just, I'm, they, I feel like, especially this year, I'm not going anywhere and they take so long and I'm not great at applying them anyway. So um, I have a nice little collection, mainly from Glow Addict and from Glam Light of lashes that are gorgeous and um, that I occasionally I'll do for like specific videos. These though, when I saw them, I was like, I, when I, I the camera died and so I was pulling stuff out of the box and I was like, oh my God, those are some lashes. So I think these definitely need to be used for like some sort of special video because they're absolutely beautiful. But I really like Glam Light's lashes. For, I've used two pairs, I think, in other videos and um, they are very nice quality. They apply very well, easy to clean too. So yeah, I really am excited to test those out and see uh, what we can do with like a fun little look with that. All right, next thing we got. 
This is the Glam Light Cookies and Milk, and this is a highlighter. Um, really pretty. I will say the one thing about the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory uh, box that I was sad that I didn't get is they did like a s'mores highlight face palette. And it was really adorable and I really wanted to try that. But I was like, no, like, no. So that may be something I just pick up individually later. I'm trying to like save the packaging, but they really did a number with this glue. My gosh. Well, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, first thing, it is a little tinier than I thought it was gonna be. Not a big deal. It's not like it's a bad size. It's just a little bit smaller based on the pictures. I thought it was gonna be like bigger, but that's what he looks like all out of the package. It is a loose highlighter. I don't normally go for loose highlighters. I normally like press just because I feel like they're less messy. But that being said, it is a really, really pretty color. Hopefully it comes like it shows up on camera. Okay. It's like very, it's very much like gingerbreadish. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. Can you see it at all, Nikki? Barely. I didn't put a whole lot on because I wasn't trying to like tip it up in like that. But it's a very nice like that kind of like light taupey brown glitter highlight. I really think it goes with the whole aesthetic very nicely. Um, and it's a cute uh, product and it's, yeah. Honestly, with it being a loose highlighter, I, I know I talked about the size. The size is, is perfectly fine. I just, for some reason, my mind was thinking it was gonna be bigger. It wasn't like that like, I was like, oh wow, disappointing it's so small, like no. I wasn't saying that. Finally, we have we have four more products. Uh, we've got three lips and then the palette. The palette I'm gonna talk about first because this is always my deciding factor whenever I like decide if I'm gonna order something because you guys know palettes are really like what I gravitate towards, eye colors and things like that. My God, they really, they did a nice job sealing all this up. It's so hard because the issue with, <laughs> the issue I have with Glamlight is their packaging is like 90% of like what's so wonderful about it. I mean, they, they have great formulas and stuff too. I feel like I probably shouldn't be holding scissors like this, but like, Whatever. All right, got it open, go team. We're doing great, we're doing great today. Everything's fine, no no need for concern. All right, so, but anyway, what I was saying before the, the cry for help thing, um, their packaging is so gorgeous, it's like 90% of what's so appealing about their stuff. Uh, and so because of that, I always save it. And so storing their makeup is a pain because it's just like every palette takes up like, it, it's basically its own freaking foot of storage space, but you know, Say lovey. It is what it is. I <laughs> can't get it out. Got it. Okay, we're here. So palette is actually pretty thin. A lot of theirs are kind of like puffy, but outside of the box, it's pretty thin. Inside, you've got a lot of really gorgeous, what I would call very neutral, considering what the whole vibe of the palette is, because um, it's a pie palette. So I was thinking it was gonna be a lot more reds. It's actually not. They're all pretty neutral. You got this really pretty fuchsia color. Um, there's like a couple really pretty, like this glitter purple, this glitter green, this glitter pink, and then a really nice cheek color. So very different than really any of the other palettes that they have out um, and really, really adorable. So I'm excited to test that one out as well. I think there's a lot you can do with it, even though it's only just a, a, like seven shades and then a like, cheek shade. All right, and finally, we got our lipsticks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna tell you what they are, and then I'm gonna pull them out. And I'm gonna swatch them each individually so that we can just uh, be, pretty, be as efficient as possible with this one. So we've got the eggnog lip gloss. We've got the pecan pie. I honest to God don't know if this is a matte lipstick or a lip gloss, but we'll see when we swatch. And then we've got the red velvet and this one is definitely a matte lipstick. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be pretty similar to the shade that I've got currently on. Super cute little like triangle shape. Oh, I just realized it's triangle shape because it's like a piece of cake. <laughs> it's brilliant. That they didn't do that with pecan pie. It's just round. It's not as creative, but it's fine. You know, no judgment there. Pecan pie is like a nice little pink shade and it also looks like it's going to be like kind of like a matte lipstick. Um, and then eggnog. Eggnog is triangle though. Wouldn't you think pecan pie would be more triangular than whatever? No judgment. So let's swatch these bad boys. Dang. It's very liquidy. This is a red velvet, very liquidy, but I think it's gonna dry down really nicely. And it's really just that classic like winter red that everybody thinks about. Very, like I said, very similar to like the vibe I was going for today. So pecan pie actually is what I would call like a, a cross between like a lipstick and a lip gloss because it's not matte. It's definitely like got that glossy texture to it. More so than this where you can feel like this is gonna dry down matte. You can see just even in the reflectiveness on the camera, at least I can, the glare back from it. You can see this is gonna stay liquidy throughout the day. And then of course you have your final liquid lip gloss. Oh, which is actually not what I was expecting. And it actually makes me really excited because this is very similar. Honestly, this kind of has more of a matte finish to it than even 
this one does. Just looking at it on my hand, maybe just because it's a lighter shade, because they both are ref catching the reflection pretty nicely. But that's really pretty. It's not, I, when I hate their lip gloss, I always think it's kind of gonna be like a clear like overcoat. These are both shades that you wear on your own, in my opinion. Um, you could mix them with something, because I always mix lipsticks anyway, but like those are really gorgeous. So that is the foodie box, the Glam Light foodie box. I'm happy with it. I'm really excited. I'm glad I picked this one up. I am a little sad that I didn't get the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory one. I know under different circumstances, like if we were not literally a week from moving into the house and there weren't like 8,000 other things I was worried about, I would have bought it, but it was just, you know, it's one of those things you gotta make choices. And I had already made the choice to buy this and I did not want to spend any more money on makeup that was unnecessary when I have like 8,000 things that I still have to film with. I would definitely, if you guys are interested in Glamlight, I would keep eyes on them. They are, com they are completely taking over this Christmas season, just putting out new stuff. Honestly, it's, I feel like every time I turn around, they're like, hey, this is dropping today. Hey, this is dropping today. Hey, this is back in stock. So um, check them out. Um, they are really good. Like if you sign up for their email notifications or not their email notifications, their text notifications, they always will give you 15% off. So I would recommend looking at that. And um, I have a pretty good amount of their collection and I really like all of it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It helps us a ton. If you like us, then you should subscribe subscribe. I don't know why I showed you my hand. I just really like the way it's watched. So I'm probably not even going to wipe it off between the next three videos we film, but it's fine. Yeah. Other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the dark twist.